strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Satisfactory Desert Bus, where in the previous episode I set up uh, a new power system. Over there you can see it in the distance dominating the landscape, a big old block of a thing, but it works. It generates us a whole bunch of power and it also makes us biofuel out of uh, leaves and wood. And so between episodes I went on a chainsaw spree and there's a lot less greenery in this particular region now. Basically just knocked out every tree. And, and things that I could, and many rocks as well, that was quite fun. Including, by the way, this one over here. The one that I was worrying about over here is completely gone now, so that's uh, that's nice. We can expand out without it getting in the way of things too much. Um, and yeah, I, I kept going until my inventory was completely full. So um, now we're going to have to go back. I was hoping to just use up all the, uh, the biofuel I had. Actually, I've got a little bit of space left to just like pick up more leaves, but I think I ran out almost entirely of space for wooden stuff. It was starting to do weird things when I cut things down, where it wasn't, like, cutting them down properly, because technically I wasn't picking up, like, the the silicon stuff or whatever it is, like this stuff. And that's what it was. So, yeah, uh, all the leaves in here, and all the wood in here. And also, we did manage to get some more petals, 45, we're slowly getting there, and I picked up some bacon agaric or agaric? I don't even know. I don't know if it's a real word, so I don't know whether the pronunciation matters. Um, and also some more nuts and stuff just while I was out there. Uh, oh, and we should, of course, do the restocking thing. Uh, and now there's plenty in here. Look at that. We got nearly three stacks of the stuff. That is more like it. Uh, and we need it because apparently everything on this side of the uh, of the room is shut down. So I think we're still... Uh, let's go up to stacks of 70. And uh, distribute those around and that'll maybe be enough to fill the whole lot. We shall see. 70 is a weird number, I don't know why I picked 70. Okay. Uh, I'm basically just going to split that stack and that'll count close enough. 60 something, whatever. Actually, we've ended up with a, a bunch left. Let's make this 100 then. Oh. Exactly. It's actually hard to get them exact. There we go. You can click, but I, and I keep forgetting that. You can just click to, to separate the stacks, but I feel like it doesn't work half the time. You end up getting like a slightly uneven one. Yeah, I guess it worked there. Maybe I'm just going mad. Right, and that is that is all of them running just for a minute. I mean, some of them are about to shut down again, but these ones are going to last a while, so we're, we're in a pretty good shape. It's holding up uh, pretty nicely now. So, uh, next order of business, I want to make some copper stuff. I want to basically completely over-engineer a system for making um, uh, copper wire and cables. Maybe it's a bit overboard. I mean, perhaps we could do a smaller scale thing, but I kind of like the idea of doing it because I've realized that I think the uh, deposits we have are perfect for uh, supplying a full system for making that. I could be wrong. Let me have a look at the numbers here. So, these use 15 per minute, so that's only a quarter of what this deposit can produce. So we can support four cable assemblers. They make a ton of uh, for wire assemblers. They make a ton of wire per minute. Uh, 180. How much does cable need? Uh, where is it? It's not going to be in here, is it? No, I guess it, I'll just build a constructor. I can't. I don't have the plates. Let's go get some uh, reinforced iron plates before we start on anything else, because we're going to need it for anything, literally. And uh, maybe there's some more research we could do at this point. I haven't been thinking about that recently. Uh, research and milestones. Let's see. What have we got here? Uh, we got overclocking. We've also got yeah, most of tier 2. Maybe we should get part assembly and then we have that. Walkways, also very cool. Um, I don't think we'll need part assembly for a, a minute yet. We're not quite at that level. Um, so I'll probably just get walkways done first because then I'll have them immediately and I can start building cool walkway things around the place. Uh, so we need a bunch of stuff for this that we don't have. Let's just restock fully over here. I should have put this slightly closer to the hub. It's slightly annoying having to to spend that few seconds walking over to get the stuff. Nice that this is completely filled up. Of course, I, I plan on keeping it busy soon enough when we actually have some uh, some reinforced plate production, all that sort of thing going. 
Okay, uh, oh, we can only make five of these. We need more screws first. We'll just make a whole ton of those. And once we, we've had a look at the wire and cable stuff, the next project will be reinforced iron plates. So we're not far off being able to get that sorted too. I'm just going to turn a whole stack of rods into screws though anyway. We're going to need plenty of this stuff. Uh, there, perfect. And then make it all into reinforced iron plates. We'll have 30 of them. That'll do us pretty well. We'll have enough to make 10 um, constructors. So we might use like half of them in the cable stuff if we do uh, a particularly high speed thing. Not really sure. Also, let's dump some more stuff in the uh, in the chest here. Oh, we've got limestone on us. Where did I even get that? How long have I had that? Where, where did this come from? Did I, I? I probably broke some limestone deposits at some point recently, didn't I? Okay, anyway, we can fill this in now. Doop, doop, doop. Oh yeah, ten of them's going into that straight away. Okay, we don't have quite so many. There we go, walkways unlocked. I'm immediately Milestone gonna queue up the next one. After medical consultation, additional building. Yep, don't care. It's fine. Um I could do with another chest. I haven't done that yet, and I could totally do that now, so I will. This is just the thing I always do is is nestle a storage box uh, over here after a while for dumping particularly junky junk. So ores generally, that sort of thing. So we'll just stick all of that in here. Because we're never going to need that. We're never going to have a use for that outside of, like, but, well, no, the, I was going to say outside of something, but I didn't know what to say outside of. We're never going to have a use for it. It is pointless. Because the, uh, the deposits here run forever. So you'll always have a supply, and you're always building something that uses that supply. You're rarely going to need to, like, boost the, the supply of something by chucking ore in it. If you've done that, then you've overbuilt your smelters. You've got more smelters than you need. That sort of thing. Um, how's our cable? Oh, that's still fine. Okay, good. Oh, we can look at cable. Right, so what does cable need? Uh, two wires to make a cable, so yeah, that's not not too bad. I need, yeah, I'm gonna build a constructor over there and just have a look at the ratios and stuff. Because now I feel like I'm confusing myself and maybe this isn't gonna work the way I was expecting in terms of what I would need to get a full belt of each. Okay, so... Uh, production, constructor, we'll line it up with this just for the sake of it. I don't think we're going to expand off this, I think it's all probably going to move if we overhaul this properly. Right, so cable. 30 wire per minute makes 15 cable. So we need four of these to fill a belt, uh, and that means an input of 120 wire. Right, yes, yeah, so it does work. So what we need, if we want to have a full belt of each, is four uh, making wires and four making cables. But then the numbers end up a little bit weird, because 60 needs to leave, 45 comes out of 1, so you need one and a quarter machines outputting elsewhere, and then the rest all properly um, splitting themselves up and inputting into these. These need 30 each, and it's all about uh, 45, so you basically got to take a third off each time and send them all elsewhere. Which actually, there's a nice, sort of, simple, repeatable way you could build that that is not too uh, awkward. Could be worth a shot. I mean, it's probably overbuilding because a full belt of cable is insane. I don't think we'll ever need that for anything. But I kind of like the idea of the challenge. And also, it, I think it'll look kind of elegant at the end of, of the build, so I think I might just do it for that reason. For just my own personal reasons. Also, can I get rid of this rock? There's no greenery around it. That's the closest one, and I reckon that's not close enough. Might be that this rock can't be removed anyway. I mean, I could try. Let me just see. We just take a chainsaw to these leaves right here. Nope, rock's still there. Ain't going anywhere. Right, switch back to that. Yeah, I want to I wanna try this, even though it's probably pointless. It'll it'll be neat, and it, I can I can have a, like all the cables I'll ever need. I don't know if there, there might be something down the line that needs a bunch of cable input. I feel like there's something late game that requires it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 thinking, and I'm like, yeah, it would actually be a good idea to have a stockpile of cable stuff because of certain things I'm thinking about in the future. So first things first, I'm gonna demolish all this. 
You know what, I'm going to let that run its course though, because I don't want to carry a bunch of uh, ingots with me if I can avoid it. Oh, I already have a whole stack of them. Forget it. <laughs> Sunk cost fallacy. Destroy everything. <laughs> right, so I want to make a new factory, and I'm going to have it off to the side of this thing, because I want to keep out of this thing's way. So, but I still would like it, if possible, to snap to the same grid. So I'm actually going to build this out and then build off of it. Oh, does this perfectly... Oh, look at that. Didn't even mean that there. I think, yeah, the ground is actually coming through in all the sunken parts of the, of the, the foundation. I built it, like, perfectly. Yeah, we want to go across here a bit, so... And then delete the intermediate pieces. And also, really, everything that led up to here. We don't need any of it. I don't know how much we do need, so I'm just going to leave it there. Um, so yeah, this is perfectly lined up with that structure, should that ever matter. We've got a two foundation wide area here, so potentially six belts could come through here. Uh, in case that ever needs to happen, though I don't think it would. I, wouldn't, I can't see why it would. I'm going to just build these out here a bit. Uh, we'll need it fairly wide. If things are going to be four constructors wide, that means it needs to be five foundation wide, because constructors are slightly wider than foundation, because this game is evil. And we'll probably need it four deep. That should maybe do. Uh, it's hard to say. I'll have to see how it all works out. Um, I'm going to put some walls up along the side of it. Oh, you know what, though? These should definitely be uh, the fancy walls. And down this end. Oh, we're going to want some output stuff going on. Oops. So... We will have... Uh... Walls, conveyor walls, just two on opposite ends. That's what I'm thinking, but we could change that entirely. Mm, I can't. I'm really tempted to work at it from the copper end, but we really need to work from it, work for, uh, from the cable end, because this is the end of the line. I mean, we could extend it by block if we needed to. Actually, yeah, there's enough leeway here that I think I will start from the back. Because I there's a couple of designs in my head right now, different ways that we could go about this. Now, we can have the splitters in here as well. Like, why not? Yeah, let's extend this out a, another bit of foundation. Part of me that's wondering what we could do. I'm just going to mock some stuff up here so you can see what's going through my head. I'm thinking constructors round about here, here, and then opposite, here and here. Uh, is that enough space for a belt to run through? I know it looks like it, but looks can be deceiving. Okay, belt can run through here. I'm thinking we make this the wire. So it can just all merge in the middle and go through that way and the rest can go where it's supposed to go and I think that's actually the neatest solution and it'll look really nice at the end of the day. Um, then we're gonna have some uh, merger shenanigans going on with all these to get them to all merge. I mean theoretically we could just have them merge in a line like we have with the iron over there actually. Yeah, maybe I'm overthinking it and that's actually fine. Hmm. Yeah, we can easily make that work however we wanted to, so we don't have to worry about that. Then I'm thinking... Constructors... Uh, here. Might not be enough room to work with, though. Like, it's enough space for a splitter. But we need a splitter merger combo. I'm going to move it all back a bit. How much room do we have back here? Oh, we're getting close to the rock. Uh, but I think we're going to be okay. Only extending it back by one more. I don't think I'll need more than that. So, splitter merger combo. We have merger first, 
lined up with the constructor. Super close. We do this for all of them. We can just put these all in now. We know it's all going to work. I like how I said I'm going to work. Um, like I, I keep just flipping what direction I'm working from. It's like, oh, I'm going to work from here. Now I'm going to work from here. I'm, I don't even know anymore. I've ended up doing this bit anyway because I've mocked it up and I'm now like, oh, actually, yeah, this totally works. Yeah, this totally works. So we're, we'll put all the mergers in, and then we'll put splitters in behind them, and then we'll connect a whole bunch of belts up to each other, and you will see the plan. So then, splitter facing uh, input from this end, of course. Put it close-ish to this. Put it there, we'll have a little bit of room to be able to see what I'm doing. And then we just need to put constructors in as close as we can behind these. The issue is we got to have some belts rise up and drop down again quite rapidly. With not much space to do that in. put all these connected. I have to do this thing. There's some weirdness with the, these. Oh no! Oh my whole plan just came crashing down in front of me. There isn't enough space here. Can we move these constructors in technically? It leaves us even less leeway. And no, it doesn't allow us to move them in. They are where they are. Can't even put that back now. Okay, so... I think we just need more wiggle room. I think I'm just gonna add... Another... Oh. The giant rock. Yeah, that's gonna get in our way. Maybe? It might not. We can try. Theoretically, I could try doing some sort of multi-tier system with this. Like, right now it's very spaced out. But this isn't a, a build I'm not... I'm doing for the first time. Whereas with that one, I'd had a couple of different practices and I'd worked out how it all needs to be arranged and I'd started to test out the, uh, the, the 3D arrangements. Whereas with this one, I'm still working out how to just make this work in the first place. So I don't much fancy the idea... Just uh, I'm just trying to make it 3D before I've made it 2D. Running and walking and all that. So we now have the dividing wall here. We can move these all up a bit, but we don't want to move them up quite the whole way. So, constructor lined up here, and I think literally just like one tile of extra space. We'll do it. So, there. Yeah. And then we got to make sure that the, the whole merger splitter thing works with this now. So, merger there. Is that That's not lined up at all. So that'll definitely not work. Okay, let's try that again. There. And then the splitter. Can't see a thing. There's too much going on here. There. Right, am I allowed... To build that, yes I am. Fantastic, and the rock doesn't actually interfere with it. Good. Uh, let's just tear all this down. Positioning of the belts is changing considerably. Now going to be some sort of central thing going on here. So I realise that this belt won't actually be able to output here. It has to output here or here, really. So... I'll have to do a shimmy at the end, basically. Uh, it'll have to deal. I'll just put the, the poles in and work out the specifics later. This back of it, actually. Let's have it over here. Just because I like it lining up with the uh, the boundaries of the, the foundations. Yeah, it should easily be able to do a little bit of a, a bend to turn there. And yeah, now we'll be, uh, we'll be drowning in space. Let's get rid of all this stuff. 
and build the constructor again, just one away from the wall. There. And then the other one can probably be right next to it. We could leave more space. In fact, it might be better if we just, like, put it right over here. I'm not sure. There's a couple of spots to put it. Let's go with there. A similar thing over here. I think I've got that lined up right. Yeah, that looks like it's correct. Okay, these are all the right way uh, the right way round and everything. I think I'm worrying about is that if we deconstruct the merger, we can't rebuild the thing unless we also do it with the constructor, which I, I guess we could do. I just, I'm worrying about the future of if we ever need to swap anything out. I don't want it to all mess up. Okay. We'll just put them in. It'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, oop, there. And then the splitters. There. And... There. And... There. And then we can build the constructors feeding into them, which can presumably be right up against them. Uh, but first, let us actually make sure all the belt stuff we've got going works here. So this needs to connect up to that. Around here we need to mirror the whole thing. Like so, and like so. Then we gotta make this go up and back down again. And that is the challenge. It doesn't have much room to do it. Hmm. Gonna clear out this actually. A merger. Slap bang in the middle of all these. Which work brilliantly. And then another merger here. Slap bang in the middle of all these. That's actually where we need to connect the ones over there up to. So we've got to kind of go diagonally a bit. And connect up to that. Though of course we have to be higher up so we can actually reach it. So what we might be able to do... Put a conveyor pole... It was allowing it in certain spots. It's definitely having trouble about it. That might do. And if we connect this. Oh, it doesn't allow it there. Because of encroaching. Oh, it's encroaching with the splitter, isn't it? Okay. Let's see if we can raise it an extra, but I don't think that's going to be allowed. I really would be surprised. Yeah, now it's too steep, of course. So, what to do? Just leaving more space going backwards for this, we can have some staggered stuff going on. We can have this belt, this splitter move back so that this one can move through here. Might be what we want to go for. It'll make things a lot more convenient for us. More space usage, but worth it. Yeah, I'm going to delete this and this. And, uh... Yeah, what we'll do is we'll have a merger here. Going the right way. And then we'll have our splitters line up with this thing. I think that's all correct. Should be. And then over here. Same thing. So delete that. So there's a belt here and a belt here. That's what we've got to contend with. And this has got to get over to that. So it's literally just got to rise up here and drop down again. Super simple. Plenty of space to do it. Totally works. So. Connect. Connect. That's what we're looking for. And then that round the side is already going. We've got to make sure to do all the little fiddly bits in between everything. And this, if I've got this all correct, will have all the ratios perfect and we'll end up with all the belts outputting as they should be. So yeah, bit of a bit of a mess, but it's a kind of elegant mess. It's got some symmetry to it. Everything lines up neatly at the end of the day. It will look cool to see the whole thing in action. And we'll have uh, wire and cable forever. Which is nice. Okay, where did the other one go? I'm gonna make sure it's lined up the same. One short of the 
crossroads here, so right there. Up and down. That one's already doing its thing. This one here can just go. Connect that up to there. Oh, gotta hop up onto this. Here we go. And uh, I think that's all the the important belts connected. Have a quick poke around here. Did I get all these ones? Uh, oh, I missed them over here. I just missed the one. You to you. And that's that. Okay, so now we got to set up the constructors making the wire. These ones are the cable ones. So constructor. Line it up with that. That's as close as we can go. There's going to be so much space for, for these things and the smelters to operate. Oh, we are going to have to move it back another tile, though, to make room for the smelters. Oh, actually, is it? Oh, yeah, there's only two smelters. Of course. Also, damn it, I've run out of plates when I just needed one more. I'm literally just going to... Uh, what is it? Production. Craft bench. Plonk one in the middle of the sand so that I can make myself the remaining reinforced iron plate. Done. Oh. There we go. And... Constructor. Make sure it's the right way around. And there. Okay, so... What I'll actually do is just have a single input of a... Um... Uh, a copper ingot belt, because one will feed this whole thing. And then we'll just put uh, splitters all over the shop. So... Here... And here, and then one in the middle somewhere, though it's going to be awkward inputting the thing because it's not going to be lined up correctly. But I think we have to have it work like this, otherwise it just isn't enough space. Yeah, so we'll put a splitter like as far along this way as we're allowed to. Damn it, I keep falling off. Uh, inputting from this side. And yeah, right about there. No, it's totally not going to connect to things properly, is it? Hmm. Is there a way of making it be able to move along more? Oh, we'd have to move this and we can't move this. Everything connects perfectly right now. Can't really move. I mean, these ones can move, but actually that doesn't help us at all. No. no I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me climb up on top of something. So you basically need to have it split in half and then split in half again. Or I could just have it just run through and split off to each one, but then it won't feed them evenly until they all start filling up. It'll be a little bit frustrating. It'll take a while for it to all kick in properly if I do that, whereas it'll all kick in perfectly at the same time if I connect it the other way. Which is cooler. But cooler is really the only thing it is. So maybe it's not worth it for, for what I'd have to do. I mean, I, I could do a, a wall conveyor times... Oh, even times two, not necessarily a times three. They come out in the same spots in the two. Because I can connect a belt there just fine. You know what? Maybe I can do it with a single. I, I should actually test this before I assume that it can't be done. Oh, wrong one. Put it there. Let me just see. It doesn't look like it could possibly work. No, it's got to do a, a weird little wiggle around and it can't deal with that. And yeah, if we, we put it into one and split it three ways, it won't work properly. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just make it a two. And then one of the things won't do anything. But it's behind the building anyway, so it doesn't matter hugely. And then we can just go doop, doop, that'll work. Connect this to this. That to there, this to there. Hop on top of it all. This to there. There. Oh. There the other shot. There. We can put all the remaining walls in. We probably want a door somewhere, though. 
Maybe it's time for walkways. We could totally put some walkways over the top of all this stuff. That'll be cool. We're going straight down the middle. Oh, we can't do it, can we? I, it's such an annoying thing. You can't place walkways down a seam between two foundations. And I keep having factories where I want to have uh, a conveyor run down... Uh, not a conveyor, a walkway run down the middle, and I'm just not allowed to. It's the worst. And there's not enough room for a two-wide, probably, unless I have it above the constructors, which I could do. Hmm. I'll just leave a hole here for a wall. Alright, and then we'll have our little smeltery array outside, because it's fine. We can We can have it, like... On a proper little setup here, at least. So, uh, production, smelter. We literally just need two of them. Have them going like dead center on this. That should be okay. Plonk and plonk. And then we just need uh, a splitter back here. No, oh, there's not quite enough room for these things to fit properly. Okay, we'll build it out a little bit more. Again, the rock threatens our, our operation, but we should be fine. Right, try it again. Smelter. Middle of this bit. Another one here. Okay, then a splitter. Right about there. And then a merger. You know, we could have just input in the side, but it... Mm, Maybe we'll do it because I realise it would be so nice to just be able to go straight through the side of the of the, the building without any belts going outside at all. Wall conveyor. It even lines up with everything. It's just taunting me. It's like, you, you know you can do it. You know you can just build the, the splitter here. Build the merger here even. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to just go straight through. It just works so well. I'll rearrange the system. I'll go with the other plan. Uh, do we want this one further in, actually? Oh, no, it is actually perfectly lined up already. Okay, so then we have a wall conveyor right here. And look at that. The miner's already literally pointing at it. You couldn't have planned this. Perfect. Run into there. That'll do the thing. Of course, we've got to power the whole thing. We're not quite there yet. So yeah, I'm going to rearrange this after all that deliberating and just do it the other way after all. And then the ore never goes outside the, of the buildings. Or the ingots never go outside. I guess I couldn't have deleted some of this, but I've already done it now. Oh, I hit the mic. My apologies. Uh, okay, so. Not a merger, a splitter. Right here, lining up with everything. And then we just do the same whole way down. So it's going to be splitting half off to start with, but it'll work itself out eventually. Everything will build up, so it'll just have to split the correct way. It's the slightly more brute force method of, of uh, splitting the belts. Uh, oh, that's already there. Does that work? I'm going to deconstruct and reconstruct, because I feel like it might not. Oh, if I can even get to this. Oh, oh, mm, eh, eh. I'm just going to assume it can do the thing. Because it is too much effort to actually access the belt. And there's that. Now all we need is power in the whole thing, and also the outputting of the cables hasn't quite been sorted. So, uh, let's stick a power line down right here. Oh wow, this is so, so densely packed. There isn't actually room for a power pole. Okay, we'll put one back here. Actually, it might be too densely packed up back here as well. Oh. Okay, power pole. Uh, mm, yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, one back here then. There, that works. Actually, to get the power inputting properly, we probably want it more like... Here. Yeah, just put it central in that bit. Connect. Connect. And we're going to do the whole rest of the system. So, let's do that. Oh, I didn't connect up some of this stuff here. Yep, these all need to be hooked up. I'll need to give them all the jobs as well. Uh, okay, so... How should we do this? I'm thinking like that. Uh, 
there. And then... Put, yeah. Come on, here. We're doing it. It's a bit fiddly. Okay, and then these are all going to connect forwards and backwards. And then I'll connect them all together as well. Alright, this guy can just run across to that for now. Maybe we'll do something fancier with it later. And I'll just connect that, if I can, to that one right there. And we'll leave this pole in place, uh, this line in place for the moment, even though it defies everything. Right, presumably the smelters are running. Oh, hello. We got a power failure. Uh, wait, what? Consuming 8 megawatts. It's just this very little power running. Why aren't these smelting? I haven't given them their job. That's what it is. That's an important aspect of this. So, you smelt copper. You smelt copper. And then, all the way through here, every single one of these. You make wire. Up. You make wire. Uh oh, that's a close one. You make wire. And you make wire. And over to these ones. Every single one of these makes cable. And that should be all that working. So here's the way this works. These things are taking in 15 uh, copper ingots per minute. And these between them are producing 60. So we can run four of these machines, each getting 15 per minute. They're producing 45 per minute of uh, the copper wire. We're then splitting that into three. So splitting it into 15, 15, and 15. Two of them then go back into the same thing and merge again. So there are 30 per minute coming through here to the wire assemblers that require 30 per minute. Then for each one of these four machines, uh, one third, so 15 per minute, is getting split off. And they're all merging on this set of belts in the middle. Now it looks like some of this isn't set up right because I see things backed up. Or is it actually so the whole thing's backing up now? Why aren't you running? Oh, it didn't work, did it? Yeah, this belt does need deleting. Can I get to the damn thing? Come on. Uh, it's got a highlight. If I if I put the mouse in just the right spot, it's surely going to highlight. I want to have to deconstruct a whole bunch of other stuff. I probably can't deal with being deconstructed. When it's just this belt. Are you serious? Don't do this to me, game. I don't want to deconstruct the splitter. Oh, we're going to have to deconstruct the splitter, aren't we? Alright. Delete, delete, and then you delete! Jesus. And we're going to put the whole thing back in again. Exactly as it was. Now, hold on, it's a splitter. Uh, yep, there. Connect you. Connect you, this time with a connection that works. And connect you. And we're back in business again. There we go, this one should now be... Yep, it's being fed, it's running, it's doing the thing. So yeah, 15 per minute is coming off of each of these um, and going into the central belt, so this is 60 per minute. And these are also producing 60 per minute because each one is making 15 per minute. So it all works out at one full belt of cable, one full belt of wire, and it's all wonderful. Now we just go to output the stuff. So I'm thinking this and this, and the rest is just standard walls. And then the building looks symmetrical from the outside, as long as you ignore the block on the side for smelting. So we just gotta decide which thing goes on which side here. Uh, let's have you there and the cable on the other side. So we just gotta have a merger right about here. What's it connecting with? I don't even know. But output that way. Is that too close? Uh, it might be. Let's see if it connects. It does connect, then I'll build it there. Uh, and then we need two more mergers. We want to do try and do this properly. Like so. And then you to you. You to you. There's gonna be some weirdness here. It's gonna to have to go up and down. It might not be able to. We might need more space. Yep, can I help up on here? There we go. Uh 
I'm not confident about the look of this. Like, that really doesn't seem like it should be able to work. It goes up, doesn't go down. So close. Wait, no, it says counter forward. Maybe it does work. Actually, no, I don't think it's uh, it's symmetrical. We just need some plates. Oh god, I'm trapped. Amongst all the things. Right, here we go. Uh, can I get this belt to transport me? No, I can't get up onto the belt. Damn it. Like everything sh just shut down now because we've built up such a supply of everything. It puts us in a fantastic place to, to get kick-started with the higher level production when we get to it. And yes, I realise I could have rushed more towards the coal stuff, but this is something that I wanted to try out. Now that I have a, a, a map area with the space and uh, I realise that the, the ratios could work for this, I wanted to try and build it and see how it worked. And see how nice looking I could make it. So I hope you can you can indulge me this this uh this distraction. Ultimately, it's all contributing to the uh, the eventual good operation of the factory. Here we go. Now I can walk along this. Now it's going to be pushing me in the opposite direction. We can just hook that up right now. So might as well. And then I can use that to get up onto here, or maybe not. No, I've fallen off. Okay. Maybe we need a door around here. There's a door. And we're in. Okay, yeah, so this probably can't connect back down, but we'll try. Oh my god, it works. That should not work. And it is clipping anyway, but I'm just going to overlook it because it's a miracle that this thing was able to work at all. Oh no. Really? That that should work. That looks like it's fine. Huh. Okay, I can't I can't cheat the system. I was wondering if it might let me if I just tried to mess with the thing. Okay, so actually that whole system doesn't work because I can't connect this one over here up. That really looks like it should be able to work. I don't see why that can't. It's a slightly too sharp turn on the exit maybe. Like, I'm allowed to do that, it's basically the same thing. Huh. Yeah, I can't really fix that. This can't move any further, really. I mean, maybe we could wedge it in the wall. Uh, maybe it'll work. It's gonna look a bit silly, but if we put it here. Uh, I think you can get it so that these can shimmy across. Though in that case, no. We can't move this and we can't move the other thing either. We can have the thing just mesh straight through it. Technically that works. Let's make sure it's the right thing first. Yeah, I'm gonna just do that. They connect and this will now connect fine. Gone through too much to mess up the whole thing again. Um, right, I think that is uh, all of this connected. Why isn't this going full speed? It should be. Uh, oh, we missed a belt here, that's why. There we go. Now it'll be going full speed. Yeah, it was going up just about half. Makes sense. Yeah. Now it'll presumably be a full belt. We can't actually just watch it and see, because for the moment it'll be too much because there's a build-up. There's a the thing, there's some build-up in this system that'll theoretically never clear, because we got things running before it was all ready. Right, now we got to get this thing going down to the uh, rest of the factory. Hmm. Let's get it be a, a double height conveyor pole to start. That would make some sense. With, oh, damn it. With it running alongside the, uh, the wire. There we go, and then we'll literally just uh, mirror what we already have just here. Can I lock to it even? I just let you lock it, like, of all things. Surely it should let you lock a conveyor pole to another conveyor pole right next to it. That would make so much sense. I just have to eyeball it each time. Try and keep it looking neat. And I'll probably have to do something different here. I'll put this in for now. Which, funnily enough, happens to connect up to that. Sure, why not? Okay. Cables. Coming in. Did that connect right? No, it did this stupid thing where it loops around and connects to the wrong end. 
Building belts from a distance is not very easy. We'll just walk with the belt as we go. And you know what? I will actually change this. Exact same location, but one higher. Because I have a plan for this. Connects up to here. Uh, encroaching clearance? Oh, is it the power line? Is that actually what it is? No, it can't be. But then what is it encroaching? You're just saying encroaching anyway. Is it actually just clipping too close to... Oh, it's the splitter here. This belt is like slightly lower and therefore can't get through. Damn it. I guess I could have raised it higher. I'm just going to move it over. I've already done it now. Okay, then connect that to this higher one over here. That works fine. Then what I want to do is run over here. We are going to add a second tier to this storage area. So, that was the right menu the first time. Organization, storage container, plonk. And we might be able to just do this in one go. Yeah, hook into that thing. And this thing will fill with uh, cables super quick. So there we go. That is uh, that is cable production hooked up. A full belt of wire, full belt of cable. Oh, there's, a, there's gaps appearing. Why are there gaps? There should not be gaps at all in this. Let's go take a look at this. I bet it's because it's favoring the belts weirdly or something. Oh, there we go. Uh, no, these are all feeding in. Are we not getting enough? Oh, is it not built up yet? Of course not. This probably isn't running all the time, is it? Not quite. Yeah, because until... Like, I think at least these two up here fill up entirely. So this one's filled up. This one's on the way. You know what, though? We can speed along this process quite a lot. Because I have a bunch of ingots on me that I don't even want. There. Fixing all the problems. Then the system will actually run full pelt. Can I just... Yeah, there we go. I can just hotkey to add it in. Yeah, so this one wasn't running full speed yet because the splitting wasn't even. It was favouring the earlier ones and slowly filling up their storages. That's now sorted. And so now uh, this one will actually feed in at full speed and we should actually get a completely full belt of cables. Of wires, even. We're not quite there. There's still a gap there, but presumably it's taken a second for it to all just work. I hope. Theoretically, there should not be a gap ever again now. That's looking pretty good. I think we're okay. And the cables should all be the same. That should definitely be fine, because we gave them loads of time to build up. So yeah, that's all, that's all a thing. It's all good. This is kind of incomplete, but we're already running over time today. We might have, like, a decorative episode next, because I need to complete encasing the uh, iron production as well as this thing. So there's a few different things that need just some uh, some reworking design-wise. And maybe we'll go for the uh, the reinforced iron plate first, just to, so we have that, because it's, it's a relatively important thing to get going, so we can get the space elevator and all that good stuff uh, sorted. Get tier 3, get coal important thing to, to be aware of. In fact, let's just finish by going over to the power area and seeing how that's faring right now. After we've, uh, we've allowed it to use up all the stuff. Also, is this structure literally like a scaled down version of that? Because I feel like it's identical. It may well be. There's actually still biofuel coming through here. This thing's been running the whole episode? Like, it's run out of stuff, but it's only just run out of stuff. Look at that. Yeah, one of these is still going. Which one is it? The, uh... This one. The wood one. Yeah, I guess because the biofuel built up in there, so... Yeah. Neat. Right, how much is in here? Tons. That's what I was hoping for. Alright, I'll take all of this. Let's just go just get a bunch of these running forever. Looks like it needs it too. We were starting to run out of some of these again. 
Yeah, we can get a whole row of these sorted and still have a ton to spare. At least still have 50 left in them. Well, varying amounts. Some of them as much as 50. I'll amend uh, two. Alright. What are we left with? 33. We'll give you another 30 and I'll keep 20 for myself. For more potential tree chopping and such. There we go. We're back up to 240 megawatt capacity. We're not using anywhere close to that. Not even a third right now. Pretty good. And uh, this isn't even done yet, though it's close. You know, we'll take that out and stick that in this last one, and then we're looking much better there. At 50. Alright, nice. I'm going to hop back to the, the main base. Get a view of the work we've done. In fact, I might build a new watchtower over here so I can get a, a cool look at the, the new stuff I've got. i build it on top of this. Oh, it's too steep. Though I reckon if I stand on top of it, I could probably center the thing right. So that it doesn't complain about that. And I kind of want to do that. But also I need a ladder to get up on the, the mushroom in the first place. So maybe this is a dumb idea. I don't think it's going to allow it anyway. Yep, let's uh, let's stick a watchtower around here and we can get a good look at, uh, at our glorious creations. For uh, the end. And here we are. So yeah, there's our factory stuff. It's all, like, decorative-wise, it needs work. But we've got the actual production element going, which is always the key thing. So, so far, we have on, on our list, we uh, have a full belt of iron plates, a full belt of iron rods, a full belt of uh, wires, a full belt of cables. We have almost a full belt of concrete, but I think it's like three quarters of one. And honestly, I'm, I'm willing to accept that. It's a bunch of extra work to make that extra tiny bit, so I'm not going to bother. Um... And also the ratios don't work out nice, which is also a key thing. So yeah, the storage is doing fantastically. We have over-provided it by quite a significant way. We're future-proofing. This thing's not going to need working on for a long time. Like, maybe we'll need more cable down the line? Uh, more wiring? We're never going to need more cable. Maybe we'll need more wire at some stage. But that'll be easy to do. Like, a, a constructor will nearly double this supply. Relatively, uh, a relatively small amount of the copper is actually going into the wire. It's all the cables the big thing that I didn't need to make big. But, oh, hey, there's a summer sloop. I was wondering what those noises were. We're, just, we're standing just a little bit close to that. It's trying to work, work its way into our heads. You'll never get the best of me. I'll never be mind-controlled by, by alien artifacts. Definitely. Anyway, next episode, I'm not sure. I might I might focus on building these up and getting the, the decorative look nice. Uh, yeah, the decorative look nice, or... Maybe I'll do that between episodes if people would prefer that I just build the uh, build the, the big blocks uh, another, another time. Might try and do some colouring on it and stuff as well. I'm not really sure. Or maybe we'll get to the uh, the reinforced iron plates and just start getting on with the, the space elevator stuff so we, we have that. Um, but I'll think about that uh, between episodes. For now, I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.